What is going on everybody? It's your boy Bula coming at you with another video for the channel and welcome back to the DMV Sports Zone. And in today guys, we are talking about the blueprint for the Washington Commanders to find their quarterback one for the future. Before I get this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, more DMV Sports content. We'd like to push out as much fire content out there as possible. And let's get straight to the video. And I've said it before and I've said it again, this quarterback position needs to be filled soon. Like soon, we've been patient for too long as fans. And to break it down, short answer, you stick with Sam Howe for the full season next year. And co-content creator Naughty made a video about Lamar Jackson coming to DC. 99% sure that's not gonna happen. But even if they somehow think that they can bring in Lamar and he's interested, I still think Lamar coming to DC, I know it's like, Lamar Jackson would be probably the best quarterback we've had in so long if he came to DC. But again, you just have to think about how if you don't give him the right offensive coordinator, which we haven't, like clearly we're not probably not going to if we stick with Ken and PZ, or if we don't upgrade the offensive line, Lamar like I know he have the weapons like he's not gonna have any time to throw. I know I, mean, I know he can run like you know scramble and stuff, but still, Lamar Jackson that's out the window. It's it's not going to happen. I know I, many fans out there want them, you know DMV Baltimore, but at the end of the day, we gotta be realistic with ourselves. So Lamar Jackson out the window. Now, another guy that I talked about in a video I made, Derek Carr, Los Angeles Raiders quarterback. No, just no. If we somehow, I would be, okay, if we trade for Derek Carr, that would be a top notch, like disappointing. But even if we sign Derek Carr and he gets cut, that's even like a little less disappointing because first of all, you don't give up assets for someone else's leftovers because clearly we've seen time and time and again that it is a mistake via Carson Wentz, uh, free agency or Alex Smith free agency uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick Case Keenum like it's it's, it's just never the answer it, it, it doesn't make any sense to go after a guy like Derek Carr who's a veteran and is not going to put us over the top and we're just going to be stuck in the middle yet again we're barely making the playoffs and the worst position in sports so Derek Carr is out the window Lamar Jackson's out the window and it comes down to what we do with Taylor Heineke too I think Taylor I wouldn't be surprised, and I think it's going to happen. I know the team's going to pick him up and sign him to their squad, but I I don't expect him to be back on the team next year. I want the team to sign him, but I feel like the other team would definitely pay him more than we will offer, so he'll be gone. And that leaves the only the wolf in the room, Hal, Sam Hal. Then this is the best thing that the commanders could do. First of all, you find your offensive coordinator. Most likely, and I don't want it to be someone in the off in the in the building right now because we need some like new fresh ideas, a new scheme. But I think realistically, if we want to make Sam like comfortable with like, in his development and stuff, you stick with Ken and PZ. And I know it, like a lot of fans are a fan of him, but you know you stick with him, ride with Sam how all of next year, like the whole year. And if Sam plays good, we somehow make the playoffs, and he has this big improvement. He was a steal in the fifth round, like Kirk Cousins, back like in 2012. But if he's not good, and he's not that guy that we thought he could be, in that, that even though it was like limited opportunity in that Dallas game, that last regular season game, then we get a top 10 pick, and we get a guy like Drake May, uh, Jordan Travis, the guy from Florida State, um, Caleb Williams, the Heisman winner. So again, it's, it's, it's another year of just being patient, and we hopefully we're not stuck in the middle but I don't know, I feel like Sam, especially if we address the needs when it comes to the offensive line, maybe get a tight end or maybe the development of tight ends like John Bates, Amarin Rogers, Curtis Hodges, Cole Turner, one of them will emerge as a tight end one. You get better on the defense side of the ball when it comes to uh, defensive back, cornerback, or sorry, corner, cornerback, maybe get a linebacker, a majority, but focus primarily on the offensive line. I think we could win and make the playoffs and make the wild card. But again, we'll see, it all depends on Sam. But the best thing that this commander team should do, or they should avoid, is going after Derek Carr. That's terrible. If we somehow got Lamar Jackson, whoopee. But it's not gonna happen, that's unrealistic. The most realistic thing the commanders would do, and we've seen in history, is go after a veteran, a washed up QB like Derek Carr. You don't do it, you just don't do it. Sam Howell is the answer, and if he's not the answer, we have an answer after that. There's a plan A and there's a plan B. Don't go and do something crazy and have like a plan Z, because there's no point in that. It, clearly there isn't any point. So stick with Sam Howell if he's good, quarterback for the future. If he's not, I'll have a top 10 pick, and hopefully we'll find a quarterback in the 2024 NFL Draft. With that being said, guys, thank you guys for listening to another episode of the DMV Sports Zone channel. We'd like to push out as much fire content out as possible. Follow us on all social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, at DMV Sports Zone. Don't screw it up, man. This is a huge offseason, and 
going after a guy like Derek Carr is not only going to ruin the development of Sam Howell, but will still be stuck in the middle. And the middle is the worst position in sports. As us fans know, we have been seeing this team be mediocre for so long, and we're tired of it. Everyone's tired of it. Please stick with Sam Howell. All right, guys. Peace.